My heart's just... Wow, he is really tall. Yes, he is. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> After five months, it's good to see. It's good to see. He's just so noble, so proud, so strong. I not only love him for his sexual attraction, I mean, we're not talking about fetish here. I love him as a mate. I love the roundness of his counterweights at the top. I love him for the narrowness of his jibs. I love him for the elegant lines of his gondola, which is now covered up for the winter. I like the ribbing up underneath his name display there, too. The parallel lines that are coming down. You see where I'm talking? Oh, yes, I see. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, geez, you know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> This is very personal. When I make love to him at home, when I start climaxing, I just keep saying over and over again, just as I'm starting to go over the edge, I just tell him, I want your fluids, I want your fluids, I want your fluids. I did not expect to find a fence like this here at all. He's perfect. I mean, this is the shape that I like so much. These angles, fabulous. <laughs> you smell good. <laughs> God, you smell so good. Mm. Fences are such dangerous objects for me because they are so perfect in their geometry. Uh, I mean, I have to say, there is a lot of physical stuff going on right now. I mean, and I, I think that happens between human relationships as well, but I'm definitely physically attracted to this fence. Um, and I would like to get to know this fence better. Oh, you are sweet. Very, very sweet. An OS person talks to their beloved object, and the object communicates back by telepathy. How many times over when we've made love at home have I asked you for... Look at me. Look at me and say... I don't want to go. I'd rather stay here with you. It's never really goodbye to anyone. Because 1000 will knock, as I have told you many times before, and I will many times repeat it. I love you.